Hey guys, today we have Scaredy Squirrel, which is one of our favorite characters. We even have a puppet of him at the library. I miss being here with you guys. This is by Melanie Watt. She also wrote some really funny other books. There's a book with Chester the Cat in it. It says, here's the story in a nutshell. I never leave my nut tree. It's way too dangerous out there. I could encounter germs, poison ivy, or sharks. If danger comes along, I'm prepared. I have antibacterial soap, band-aids, and a parachute. But things really, really get shaken up later in the book when I'm forced out of my tree by a vicious intruder. Will I survive this ordeal? Will I undergo a life-changing experience? Will I discover my true inner self? Read my nutty adventure to find out. Caution, this story is not suitable for green Martians. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone wash their hands with antibacterial soap before reading this book. This book was written like 15 years ago, but I think he was ahead of his time. Yeah, 2006. Scaredy Squirrel by Melanie Watt. Yeah, this is, what's that? A bee, you're right. This is smart. You gotta kiss your brain, buddy. That's an acorn. But let's, let's read the whole story. There's our protagonist. Scaredy Squirrel never leaves his nut tree. Acorn, yeah. This is the unknown. He'd rather stay in his safe and familiar tree than risk venturing out into the unknown. The unknown can be a scary place for a squirrel. A scary place for everybody these days, but hey. A few things Scaredy Squirrel is afraid of. Tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, killer bees, germs, and sharks. You have, you have rational fears and irrational fears, right, Eleanor? Mm -hmm. So he's perfectly happy to stay right where he is. Advantages of never leaving the nut tree. Great view, plenty of nuts, safe place, no tarantulas, poison ivy, Martians, killer bees, germs, sharks. Disadvantages of never leaving the nut tree. Same old view, same old nuts, same old place. But, but, this is good, but, but it gets outnumbered. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And today's a set. And today's a Saturday, right before Easter. Yeah. In Scaredy Squirrel's Nut Tree, every day is the same. Everything is predictable. All is under control. Scaredy Squirrel's daily routine. Wake up, eat a nut. Look at view, eat a nut. Look at view, eat a nut. Look at view, go to sleep. Hmm. It's a lot of doing the same thing. Yeah. But let's say, just for example, that something unexpected did happen. You can rest assured that this squirrel is prepared. A few th items in Scaredy Squirrel's emergency kit. Parachute, bug spray, mask and rubber gloves, heart hat, antibacterial soap, calamine lotion, net, band-aid, sardines. What to do in case of an emergency according to Scaredy Squirrel. Step one, panic. panic. Step two, run. run. Step three, get, get kit. Step four, put on kit. Step five. Consult exit plan. Step six. Exit tray. If there absolutely. is absolutely, definitely, so, truly, no yeah. other option. Squirrel. Exit plan. Top secret. So, exit one. Note to self. Watch out for green Martians, killer bees in the sky. Note to self. Do not land in river. If unavoidable, use sardines to distract sharks. Exit three. Note to self. Look out for poison ivy, tarantulas roaming the ground. Note to four. Exit four, note to self, keep in mind that germs are everywhere. Remember, if all else fails, playing dead is always a good option. See, this squirrel knows what he's talking about. No one ever plays dead. With his emergency kit in hand, Scaredy Squirrel watches day after day. He watches until one day, Thursday, 9.37 a.m. A killer bee appears. Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit, but something incredible so, happens. So He starts to glide. Yeah. Scaredy Squirrel is no yeah. ordinary squirrel. Yeah. He's a flying squirrel. That's actually a type of animal. Yes, actually. Uh -oh. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, yeah. carefree, alive, until he lands in a bush. Score, yeah. 5.7. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green Martians, germs, and sharks. And plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, 
Finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today, so he returns to his nut tree. And all of his excitement, he is in, has a, uh, all this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes in his life. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. Wake up, eat a nut, look at view, jump into the unknown, play dead, return home, eat a nut, look at view, eat a nut, look at view, go to sleep. Let's see if he's doing this. One meal, mm -hmm. two meal, three meal. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. P.S. For the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel's in no hurry to pick it up just yet. Why? He's pulling his tent poison as he pets. Yeah, that's awesome. The end. Bye, Bye guys. guys.